Hi guys, I am Amos Susuza and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what we are going to do is attempt to make a game in under 10 minutes. Be sure to watch till the end to see what I've made. Also, I will be making a breakdown video on what we have made in this video and explain the code and the working of the game. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, we have 10 minutes on the clock and I have just done some minor changes to the scene like the background color and a little bit of project settings and um, yeah, so we should get right into it, shall we? Okay, in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, the time is ticking down and let's add in what we need. We need a static body for the uh, for the ground we need a kinematic body uh, for the player we need a timer and we need two labels and I'm gonna add one just call it score score and let's let's get into it okay let's add the collision so I'm gonna use a collision polygon and to make the ground I'm gonna use is something in the color vect okay and let's just go down here and let's just use this oh shit okay grab this angle okay that's a area and oh come on okay so and go to color go here and I just saved some colors okay so you're putting on shape okay let's draw your shape out oh no oh sh okay let's do it again click properly this time okay almost there uh, we're done okay. the ground is done now let's add a player thing so again i need a collision shape this time and i'm going to use codot icon as the player because why not we're making games with codot and we need to use uh got somewhere not usable to true um i know yeah and that's the one with 30 and why it's 32 just to do some leeway okay that done let's look at the player here just snap him there okay this current player so if we need that and we're gonna add a script to it and clear script and remove everything so we're gonna use a different function function physics process if you don't know what's physics process i will explain in the uh, in the video uh, in the follow-up video i'm gonna make a follow-up video wherein I will show you how to make this game. Okay, I'm gonna add simple gravity position dot y plus equals 45 if input dot is I can just press jump. Um what you're gonna do is position dot y is equal to minus a thousand and that those are some of the numbers which I mostly use and this is a function move and slide and uh, in Godot where it helps you to make player movements save scene okay now next thing what we need to do is we need to make an enemy and how much time do we have on the clock let me check we have six minutes 6 minutes 25 seconds and let's just make change stack to area right here and just call it enemy since it's important and we're going to use it for the right just for the enemy and go to right and size oh god 40 40 and positions to minus 20 minus 20 
Okay, and just pick a nice color of red. And what else we need is we need a collision shape. Since we know it's 4040, it will be easier. And I always don't like to keep it like exact. So it will be 1818. I always like keep some leeway. And might also just be ready to okay, just have it like that and we're gonna add a visibility notifier so which will notify us whenever we move out of the screen okay empty and then we're gonna use a function process which is like every frame and the position uh, dot x minus equals speed speed will be a variable speed, speed is equal to 5 and we need another var which we can export export var spawn post equal to that's the 2 okay and this is gonna happen every frame visibility notifier give me that screen exited and connecting it to enemy okay i'm gonna have it and no i forgot one more thing oh uh, wow this will be a const constant max speed is equal to 10 not 19 10 okay so you're gonna say uh, is uh, set position equals spawn post and a speed is less than max speed then speed plus equals 0 0.1 0 0.2 save enemy scene i think the enemy should be done and no click main enemy and add enemy and we have 3 minutes 35 seconds remaining okay we are on a speed run right now okay right about there we will do here and give it this location copy enter paste enter copy and paste enter okay now next thing what we need to do is add this timer this timer will be a millisecond timer 0 0.1 and it will be an auto so go here and create okay and e timeout connect to main okay we're gonna have we're gonna click a var score var score equals zero and over here there is a score plus equals 1 and what we need to do here is also um, score it score dot text is equal to a string value of score come to score um, drag it in the middle Okay, we got two minutes left. We got two minutes. Okay, go to fonts, new dynamic font. Click that font and write in this file because we need a font and make it like I don't know 60. All right, let's type in something. Let's see. Okay, that should be around in the center somewhat. Hopefully. Okay. That done. We need to uh, create a last thing where the player dies. Okay, so body entered. We're going to do it main. If body entered, what we're going to do is uh, game over. Game underscore over. Okay, and I'm going to make a new function called game underscore over. If I can type properly and say. Uh, get underscore tree dot all equal to true and say um 
I'm gonna do a yield function. Yield. Oh, but time is almost gonna be the tree dot create timer of three seconds and connect the timeout script and say get tree get tree dot reload current scene and copy this and paste it here and shift the false. And that should be it. That should be it. Let's just test it out. Let's just before train before that one. And that. Oh shit. Okay. Great. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm done. Okay. This should be it. Okay. Moment of truth now. Have I done it? Okay, I haven't tested it. Okay, just let's select main and okay, score works. The enemy is coming. Okay, I think it works, guys. I think it works. Okay, we hit the thing and it should reload. Yes. We did it guys, guys we did it, under 10 minutes, we made a game, oh, I was speaking there, we made a game which works and is playable under 10 minutes, so yeah, if you want to get into game design, I think it can be done, games can be made under 10 minutes. I have to time it like it's so close <laughs> it's so close okay one thing I would make is make the enemy move a little faster at the beginning because <laughs> not gonna lie that enemy is kind of slow seven okay so yeah that is so better Yeah, that is much better. So, there you have it. Okay, okay. I know that game is not good. But, hey, I made a game in 10 minutes. This is it, guys. If you want to play, I might export it to Android and the Windows version. So, just check in the description. If you find links to those, you can go ahead and download and try it out for yourself. So, that's gonna be it guys for this video in the next video i will explain on how to make that game and if you want to get into game development that's the best place to start so till then oh wait hey subbot you're late again today i told you we have a schedule to cover up come on now do your work okay master if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button which looks like me do it okay so listen to him and go down below and smash that subscribe button and also the like button we are almost nearing 100 so let's hit it so with that said i have to wrap the video up here see you guys in the next one goodbye